pesticide, uh, genetical modified organism, uh, antibiotic or growth hormone for the planting the plant. And uh, according to me, uh, the mode to use uh, cover crop, uh, cover crop rotation and balance the host and predator relationship. For the cover crop, they mainly uh, plant the cover crop along the plants so that they can give more nutrients to the soil. Nowadays, uh, organic farmers are from uh, this globally. Uh, uh, the famous one is uh, which is Australia, which is have the greatest area for the organic farming. And in India, uh, produce highest product from the organic farming. And the last one is Falkland Island, which is uh, recorded to be highest uh, share of land for uh, organic farming. In India, they believe uh, they practice organic farming since uh, the ancient times because they believe that through this system, organic farming uh, can give uh, more soil uh, healthy. And organic farming is different from the conventional farming as in a conventional farming, they tend to use more synthetic material, uh, while as uh, organic farming, they use uh, organic waste or compost in order to increase the growth rate. And uh, organic and conventional farming do also use pesticide or insecticide, insecticide to kill the pests and weeds. Why? If farming they use uh, biological method. and disadvantages of organic farming. The first advantage of organic farming is reduced production cost. Um, this is because farmers do not need to buy uh, expensive fertilizers and chemicals to remove the uh, pests in the plant. Advantage of organic farming is uh, it helps to, it, to protect our environment which is the less use of nitrogen fertilizers so the soil and our groundwater can be protected. The first disadvantage of organic farming is uh, the organic product is high cost. This is the reason why people do not fully support uh, the organic farming. And now the disadvantage of organic farming requires a lot of consumption because to remain in the plant, it needs uh, farmers to do uh, manually to remove the pests. This is about marketing. Many people was not well known about the organic farming. So let us interview Shazrina about the marketing. So what is your opinion about the marketing in organic farming? Okay, this is based on what I have read. Uh, actually, we have two major problems uh, under marketing. The first one, uh, Malaysian people do not know the health benefit when they are consuming this organic product. And the second one is the most important thing that we should know that all those organic products we do not know where we have to sell all those products and which platform that we should use in order for the other Malaysian people know about this organic product. So I think this is what is the problem happened in Malaysia. Let us move with the second issue which is lack of training. So I mean I is it true that lack of training in uh, organic farming will affect the organic farming? Okay, so from my point of view, is regarding to the study that has been conducted on Cameron's Islands, the farmers have been tell, uh, farmers have been reported that there is a lack of trainings uh, according to the organic farmers. They reported that the development of agriculture in Malaysia does not provide an enough training for that. Besides, there also there is no extension work regarding delivering the information about the organic farming to the workers and also the farmers. So as a result, they need to seek the information by themselves. So they need to uh, save the knowledge from their friends, the members of the uh, Agriculture Association and others. So this is wasting their time. You know, farmers have a lot of things to do. So basically, this is not an efficient thing that should happen to them. 
I think that's all. So Zana, what is the problem with the organic product price? I would say that organic food always come in high price, but I believe that there must be a reason behind the cost. The factor, the factors that might contribute to the higher price is that organic farming is labor intensive. <clears throat> okay. When organic product is grown, it is free from typical pesticide, the chemicals, the antibiotics, and other chemicals that can help speed up the growth and increase the size of the product. So, without the presence of this chemical, <clears throat> organic farmers need to have hire more workers to do the tasks such as the hand weeding, the clean up of polluted water, and the remediation of the pesticide contamination. So, besides organic farming, also use organic fertilizer, which costs more than typical fertilizer. challenges of organic farming. The first one is by conducting research on the utilization of organic waste on small farms in order to improve the soil productivity and also to control the erosion. And the second one is by implementing education programs in order to increase the public awareness on the importance on using the recycling organic waste of in order to increase the soil's fertility. These recommendations should be developed and implemented to address the needs and also the problems of, farm, of organic farmers and also to enhance the success of conventional farmers that might want to shift to organic farming and they might also adopt some or, organic methods that uh, will be uh, towards achieving sustainable organic farming in Malaysia.